Okay, hello grade eights and welcome to lesson 1.8, order of operations found in your textbooks on page 34. Now the goal is to apply the rules for order of operations to whole numbers and decimals. Now we've been doing this for a couple of years now, so I don't foresee any problems going forward with this. Uh, again, though, we will be reviewing in class, so no stress, and we'll do it and pull it through together. Okay, anyway, let's continue. Uh, again, copy that for your notes, that, then follow along here, and don't forget the goal. All right, so here we go. Now write all this down. All right, now you can use the memory aid bed mass to remember the rules of operate uh, for order of operations. Perform the brackets first, brackets, okay? Uh, calculate exponents and square roots next. So exponents and square root in the same order after brackets. Brackets always first. Now, division and multiplication from left to right. So which one comes first? Whichever is on the left-hand side. Either division or multiplication, whichever one appears first on the left-hand side. We read from left to right. You do your bed mass from left to right. Same with addition and subtraction, whichever one comes first. Okay, now this one gets to a little bit of detail, okay? And I strongly suggest you write this all down, okay? Pause right now, pause, and write this down, okay? Go ahead. All right, we're continuing. Now, brackets can be many different shapes, square, squiggly, curved. Curved brackets are sometimes called parentheses. Some calculators have brackets. You can enter when performing calculation. There's your scientific calculators, and um, I strongly suggest you have one by now. Okay, when a square root sign covers an expression, it behaves like a bracket. Okay, so if there's no bracket, you're doing the square root. Okay, that you're going to be doing first. All right. Then there are, when there are multiple brackets, complete the operations on the inner brackets first. So let's take a look at this example. Okay, so <clears throat> you have two sets of brackets here. Okay, you have your curved, and then you have your square. So what's done first? The bracket inside the brackets. This is what you're going to be pulling out first. Okay, 2 plus 3 becomes 5 times 3, so 5 times 3 with the exponent. Then you complete in the bracket again. 5 times 3 is 15, okay? 15 squared, 15 times 15, 225. Ladies and gentlemen, remember these points, okay? These are really important, okay? And we will practice these. So, um, again, you've seen bed mass before, you've seen order of operations before. Um, this should not become as a great shock to you, okay? But the new wrinkle is going to be right here, okay? Prepare for tomorrow. Complete this question, bring it in. Now, remember what we just said about the square root. What happens here? here I'll give you a hint. Don't tell anybody, okay? But complete this first, and what are you doing in the square root first? Okay, I'm gonna give you a hint. Do this one first. Okay, figure that out. And then add the one. Okay, then you complete as follows. And then when you've worked out inside here, then you're gonna be doing that. All right, sounds good. Wait, what happened there? Anyway, all right, so again, Prepare for tomorrow. Just complete this question. Let me erase all of this so you can get a clear view here. All right. Okay, so again, this question, prepare for tomorrow. And we will go through it. And we'll go through it step by step. And we will all be clear. And then we'll get to work, all right? Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, we'll see you, okay? Bye-bye.